In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to set up Umbral to be a solo mining node without having to manually create any type of configuration files or anything like that. In previous videos, I covered how to get Mining Core, which is a mining pool software, set up and running on Umbral so that you could solo mine uh, various coins. As you can see over here, I've got Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Digibyte, and Dogecoin all set up on this instance. And these are all the apps. And in those videos, we had to SSH into the system, do some configuration. But today, I'm going to show you a different method that you can use that does not require you to SSH in at all. In fact, everything will be done through Umbral apps and it will be scalable in a sense that if I, de if I create and deploy more apps in the future, more node apps in the future, you will be able to basically just install that node, go into a config screen, check a box, and it'll spin up the pool for you. So I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch today. Uh, so we've got this other Umbral instance here. So this is a brand new instance. We haven't set anything up on yet. First thing we need to do is open up the App Store. And clicking this little icon down here. And we need to open up my custom community App Store. So we're going to click the three dots here. Go to Community App Stores. And then we are going to put in this URL, which will be in the description below. But it is the GitHub URL to my Umbral App Store. We're going to hit add and you can see it hit add. So now we're going to hit open here and the, this is my app store. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install the node app for whatever coin that you want to mine. So, uh, for me, just keep things, uh, kind of simple in this video, let's go ahead and do Bitcoin cash. So I'm going to hit Bitcoin cash. I'm going to hit install here. And we're going to give this a minute. This is going to download, install, and run the app for Bitcoin Cash Node. And then that's going to auto start syncing the blockchain. So we're just going to give this a minute. We're going to wait until this installing flips over to an open button. Okay, it's flipped over to open. Let's go ahead and click that. And this is going to open up a Dazzle, which is basically like a Docker logs uh, platform. And we're going to click this BCH node node one here. And you can see it has started synchronizing the headers. So it's now starting to sync the blockchain. Now we can hop back on over to Umbral. And we can go back. And we want to install. There's a couple apps we're going to need to install to get the pool set up for the first time. So uh, there's basically going to be three apps, but we're going to do, in a, do them in a specific order. So we're going to start by scrolling down the bottom to this databases section, clicking on Postgres and hitting install here. Once that's installed, we don't need to hit open here. We can just go ahead and hit back and we want to install the mining core web UI. You want to make sure you don't install mining core yet. Just do the web UI. Come over here. We're going to hit install. And once it's installed, we're going to be able to click open. And that's going to bring us over to the mining pool site. Now you're going to notice there's no coins or anything set up yet, but we now have this pool configuration section you can hop over here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to set up the database schema. So we're going to go ahead and just click this button and you're going to see that the schema is now set up. Just go ahead and hit okay. And then you want to hit refresh master coin list. This is going to download the master coin list. So go ahead and hit OK once you get that pop up. And now all you need to do is just select the coins that you want to run pools for. Now you do have to have the nodes, the node apps for each of these installed if you want to select them. So we only installed the Bitcoin Cash one. So I'm just going to select Bitcoin Cash here. I'm going to hit generate pool config file. Say OK. Now we're going to hop back on over to Umbral. And we're going to go back. And we're going to install Mining Core. So come over here, hit install. Now this will take a few minutes to install. Once the install's done, we can go ahead and just close this and hop back on over and open the uh, web UI again. And you can see that our pool is running now. Now, 
If we wanted to add another node, let's say as an example, we wanted to add Digibyte, we could just come into the App Store, come over to our community App Store, go to open, and install Digibyte. So we're gonna say install here. We're gonna give this a minute, we're gonna let this install. Once it's installed, we're gonna hit open, and we're just gonna validate that it's syncing, uh, which it is. So now we're going to hop back on over to Umbral, and let's close this out. And we're gonna open the web UI again. We're gonna get a pool configuration, and we're gonna check Digibyte here. Hit generate pool config file. It's gonna tell us that it updated it, and we need to restart, restart the Mining Core app. So we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna come back over to Umbral, and we are gonna right click on the Mining Core app here and choose restart. That's going to restart the Mining Core backend service and it's gonna cause it to pick up the new config file. So we're gonna give that a few moments. We're gonna let it restart and then we will hop back on over to the web UI, go to mining pools and you can see Digibyte is now there. Now, the blockchains are still syncing so we can't actually mine to them yet. Once they're fully synced, network hash rate will populate on each of those. And then you can click into it and go to the getting started tab, scroll down, and you're gonna see the port that you wanna connect to. So you'll just use the IP of the system. So in my case, it'd be 192.168.1.64 and port 6001. That's what I would configure on my miner to uh, mine to this pool. Whatever wallet address that you put in the miner, that is the wallet address that will get the payout. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to get it up and running. As you can see, there's no SSH, there's no text file, there's no command you have to run. Everything is done through the web UI.